This is Jenny. She loves to sleep in. So as usual, she's a little late for school. She doesn't always pay attention in class either. Jenny might seem like a typical student, but she's not. Part of the reason she finds it hard to concentrate is because she has a hearing loss. And even though the school has a special hearing system, it doesn't work very well for her. One day, a woman called Sally visited her class. Sally helps children with hearing problems like Jenny's. And she drives for hours visiting different schools in the area. All the kids know she likes children, even the show-offs. But this is a special visit. Sally has brought along something that looks like Jenny's MP3 player. She hands it to the teacher and then asks if she can borrow Jenny's hearing aids. Before you know it, she pops something she calls Amigo receivers on the hearing aids. They have a tiny little light on them. At first, she thinks the teacher is searching for music. But when she points the device at her, Jenny knows that something else is up. Suddenly, Jenny hears a in her ears. Sally and the teacher point at Jenny, and Sally explains that when the red light is lit on the Amigo receiver, the teacher will know that Jenny and the other children wearing hearing aids can hear her. Wow, Jenny thinks. This thing is pretty cool. Sally says that the light also tells you that the battery is working and that you are tuned into the right channel. Jenny is impressed because the old system could never do that. Suddenly, the teacher drops the transmitter on the floor, but Sally just laughs and says not to worry. It's protected by rubber and made of the same kind of glass you put in president's cars. Unbreakable, says Jenny. Definitely not like the old system. Sally tells the teacher that this new Amigo transmitter has something called voice priority. This means it is smart enough to focus in on what Jenny needs to hear, like the voice of her teacher. And then it turns down other distracting sounds, like that old fan that hums all day, so she can hear and understand every word. It doesn't matter where the teacher wears the microphone either. The sound of her voice always comes in loud and clear. Sally is happy with the new FM transmitter too, because she saves a lot of time setting the receivers up. She can do it directly with a little Amigo transmitter wirelessly. She doesn't need PC, cables, or anything else. And if there is a problem, she can probably solve it over the phone. When Jenny overhears something about an FM wizard, she wonders if they are talking about a real wizard. But Sally assures her that this wizard is just a program that makes it easy for her to choose and set up the channels. Oh, I see. It's kind of like choosing channels on our TV. This is not like the old system, Jenny thinks. Jenny thinks about what an amazing difference Amigo has made. Before, I had to keep raising my hand to ask, what did you say? Now, I can hear much more clearly. Jenny is convinced that she will get better grades. The only problem is that she still sleeps in. Oh well, there are some problems even her new Amigo can't solve. FM made friendly. Oticon Amigo.